welcome back to the day tutor my name is Fireless, and let's look at this table under um production theory okay yes under production theory so this is a practical question you can get it as a theory question okay yes but if you get it in mcqs yes you are going to be privileged or um, fortunate Okay, so let's tackle the question. Okay, how do we do it or how do we go by? Now, the, we have units of labor employed here, okay? Then we also have total product, we have average product, we have what's marginal product. This is the output. Total product is here. Average product, how do you get the average product? The average product is total product divided by what? Um, outputs okay so for this side it is this over this this side it is going to be this over this this side is eight over two that is why we have four here and 15 over four we, we are going to get 3.75 so whenever you want to get to the average product it is your total over output so we are going to do that and for marginal um, it is always change in the total product over change in the quantity we are also going to get our marginal for that okay so let's start Okay, so let me list the items here. We have I, 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 V. It's up to its X. So V, V, I, V, I, 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 V, I, 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 X. Then we have X here. Okay, yes. So um, let's start. Let's start with this one. Okay. Let's start with this one. There is a trick here. Okay. Or a method here. What we are going to do is, you see, we have total product, and you know, total product is what. Or formula for marginal product is equal to change in total product over change in output or quantity. Okay. All right. Now you are looking for total products whilst you have the marginal word products. Okay. Total products for the current period, right? So if you want to look at that, it means it's very simple when you have the table. This is the total product for the first period. Whenever you add the marginal product to the total products for the previous period, you are going to get it here. So this three, when you add it to this, you are going to get here. Okay. Then after getting here, okay, you let's calculate for this one first, then we proceed. So one after the other, so that you wouldn't be confused. I said whenever you are looking for total products and marginal products, there is a relationship between them. If you have total products and marginal products, when you add, you see this uh, zero, right? Level zero, level one. So if you want to get here, you add the marginal product here to the previous total product. So it's just like you are accumulating it, right? Yes, just like when you accumulate the marginal product, that is when you get the uh, total product for that particular level. So here is that, here is zero. If you add three to this one, you are going to get three here. You are going to get three here. So your I is three, okay? Yes, your I is three. Or better still, we have formula for that. So let me just check if I can just. Um... So if you want to check for the total product for the current period, it means it is going to be your total product. So total product for the current period M is going to be your total product for the previous period plus your plus what's the marginal cost. For the current period right so marginal cost for the current period i'll say mc and a marginal product not cost sorry mpn yes for it then you multiply it by the quantity so the change in quantity qn minus the previous quantity okay so this is the formula for finding the total product okay now look at it always the uh, difference between the output is one so difference two minus one is one three minus two is 
So that is why when I was explaining the table, I ignored this. So you see that in the short run, the quantity, the difference between the output is always one. So you can clean this one. I hope you get it now. So after that was the initial formula and that's the original formula. So based on the strategy or the trick that I'm giving you, here is going to give you one. So there is no need for multiplying one by this. Okay, you are still going to get this. So there is no relevancy of what bringing this. I hope you get that. Yes. So now the total product formula remains this. What it means is that total product for the current period is equal to total product for the previous period plus the marginal product for the current period. So suppose n is equal to 2. You are going to get Tp2 equal to Tp2 minus 1 plus Mp2. Right? So if you rewrite it, Tp2 is equal to Tp2 minus 1 is what? 1 plus Mp2. Have you seen that? So that is equal to what? Your total product is equal to what? The current total product is equal to the previous total product, right? Plus the current marginal product. So that is what I said here. The, if you want to get the current total product for here, it means it is going to be your previous total product, which is this, plus the current marginal product. And this is the current marginal product because we are dealing with this level, okay? And that is why it is 0 plus 3, giving you what? 3 here. I hope that is clear. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We have 8 here. Um, we have here to do what? I, I. So what do we do? We add the current marginal product to the previous total product to get 12 here. So we are going to get 12 for I, I. So we have to, okay. Then for the third one, we have 15 here. So when we add two to 15, we are getting what? 17, okay, 17, using this formula. Okay, so your current one, if you want to find the current one, it is the previous, which is 15, this is the previous, 15 plus the current, marginal product 2 to get what 17 here and here to you have 17 16 so we are done with the total product okay now let's move on to the average product and you know when you are calculating for average product your average product is equal to your total product divided by what the quantity i hope you get it so here it is 0 over 0 and that one will give you 0 here when you get here it is 3 over 1 and you are going to get 3 here. So your IV is 3, okay? Then when you get here, it is 8 over 2, giving you 4. Here is 12 over 3, giving you what? 4, okay? So our V is 4, okay? Then um, 15 divided by 4 is giving you the 3.75, okay? Yes, it's giving you 3.75. Then 17 divided by 5 will give you what? So let me check. 17, right? 17 divided by... 17 divided by 5. 3.4. So here is 3.4. So our VI is 3.4. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Are we done? Yes, we are done with the average product. Okay. The average product. So now let's look at the marginal product. Okay. Now you know that the marginal product is what's changing total product over changing quantity. So marginal product here is not even zero. It is dash. We can't calculate for this side because we don't have any past history for total products, okay? Yes, because anytime you calculate for marginal product, you must get what two total products so that you find for the change, okay? And now when you start from here, you don't have any previous. So here is dash, okay? Now when you come to this part, it was given in the question already. So that one is going to be what? 
3 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. So you are going to get 3 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. So 3 over 1. And it's equal to 3. So everything, the change in quantity, you are still going to get what? 1. You are going to get 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus um, 2 is what? 1. It is just, uh, how do you call it? Because it is in a short run, it is just fixed. The uh, face cost is what? Constant. And in that case, the level of output is always what? 1. Yes. So have that one in mind. So you can choose to ignore this and say change in total products. Okay. So now we know that we are going to get 3 for this side. Okay. So IV. IV is 3. Okay. Where? VII. Uh, oh, yeah. We are here. VII. So the VII is going to be 8 minus what? 3. So 8. Change in total product. So it is 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 over. What is the 8? This 8. So over 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1. And you are going to get what? 5 over 1. That is 5. Okay. So we are going to get 5 here. Is that good? Yes. Then you have 4 here. 4 means um, 12 minus 8 is what? 4. Over 3 minus 2 is what? 1. So at the end, you are going to get 4. And that is the 4 here. And so when you come here, it is 15 minus 12 over 4 minus 3. So 15 minus 12 is what? 3. 15 minus 12 over 4 minus 3. So you have 3 over 1 go to 3. Is that good? So you have three here. Your V I I I is this one is three. Where is V I I? That one is five. Okay. So now we are left with the two here. Now I X is what the change in total product here. Seventeen minus seventeen is zero. So zero over any number is going to give you zero. So our I X is what zero. Okay. Yes. So it means in production when you get to a point where your marginal product is um, zero, you must stop what producing. Okay. Yes, because the rest is going to be a diminishing marginal product. Okay. Yes, because you are going to get negative returns. So now um, for the next one, sixteen minus seventeen is what negative one over seven minus six is one. So sixteen minus seventeen over. 7 minus 6. So this one is going to give you negative 1 over 1. And at the end, you have negative 1. So there is negative 1 here. So our x is negative 1. Now we have xi. So let's look at the xi. So the xi is 13 minus 16. 13 minus 16 over 8 minus 7. And that one is negative 3 on 1. Negative 3. So this one is also negative what? Okay. This negative one. So this negative three. Yes. So we are done with um, the table. This is how to calculate for um, the total product, average product, marginal product. In uh, when you get a question like this, okay, under production theory. So we are done with it. We will meet again the next time too continue on other topics. Thank you very much for joining us today.